All right, what's up, y'all? It's your boy Bart Kempson, and we got another Bart Kempson podcast for y'all. This episode three. Now y'all crazy. know we finna go crazy. Hey, I got my boy Andrew. <laughs> you heard? And I got my boy Godfrey once what again. What it do, man? What it do, man? Hey, bro, we finna go crazy now. Episode two. I ain't gonna lie. It was a little bit too short for my liking, to be honest. It was only like 30-some minutes. But we did get a lot of people in there. That was really on the fly. Like, I ain't going to lie, y'all. That was unexpected. But, yeah, we just going to get into it. Y'all know we got to start off with the mental health check-in. Now, I ain't going to cap. I don't want to start with this one, but I'm going to go on start because I know, uh, I know I'm know i going to need to give everybody else a, ch- a chance to think and stuff like that. But uh, I ain't going to cap right now. The mental health. Is in like a yellow right now, mm. but I know I I know I'm gonna end up you know figuring it out or whatever. Like it ain't no it ain't no hard yellow. You feel me? So I, so I know uh, I know eventually I'm, I'm gonna end up uh, figuring something out about it. Uh, I was gonna talk about it on the pod, but I don't think that's really like like worth me talking about for real. But but we just gonna get into everybody, everybody else's. What you got, Andrew? Uh. My mental health right now, it's like you said, it's like a it's like a light yellow. It ain't nothing crazy. It's just cause my lady done went back home for spring break or whatever. And so it's like man, Hold on, hold on. What? Did you just say spring break? Yeah, they got spring break up there, huh? Oh, so man. I don't know what I'm saying. So so uh so she gone for like till I think she told me till Friday. So it's like uh I'm gonna be bored like outside of work because we all working and shit. So it ain't like we just gonna be uh, yeah, yeah. chilling throughout the week. So I probably ain't gonna be doing nothing but just being like, you know what I'm saying? Going to the gym, you know, work and just being at the house, really. So shit. It's a light yellow, but shit, when she get back, I'll be green. All right, what you got, girl? Uh, two. We, we all on yellow, red, like real talk. Uh, but we all on yellow for real. Yeah, I'm, I, I, I'm picking yellow because, um, I don't know. I, do, I just lost a bit on my mind. Just think about the future and stuff. And just right. want to plan it. But then, I'm scared of the future, but I'm not scared of the future. But I'm ready for the future, but I'm not ready for the future. So, it's just, that's what's been on my mind. So, I'm going to yellow right now. Mm-hmm. I ain't going to care. Yeah, that's the same thing. Like, you don't know what the future holds, mm-hmm. but, I mean, hey. All, all you can really do is pray on it and, uh, and, and, and hope for the best, you feel me? Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, yeah. We finna get into something. You know, more lighthearted though. Y'all, y'all already know I gotta hit. I gotta hit y'all with the tell me something good. So uh, I'm gonna start off with this one again. Tell me something good. Uh, I guess I'll just say. Uh, well, yeah, that's all I got to say. Uh, I guess I'm gonna say on tell me something good. I got a bonus at work this week. Okay. okay. It was mm-hmm. it was cool. I guess double clap for that. Good double. Yeah. So yeah, I got a bonus this week, y'all. Uh, so far. I done got me some shorts because y'all know that springtime and that summertime coming. No I'm trying problem. to get my wardrobe on point this year. You feel me? I'm trying to. I'm trying to go places even even though it's still COVID. But I'm you know. I'm, I ain't gonna lie to you. I might get that shot show. Man, I might too because my grandma was talking about that stuff at work. I mean, not at work. My grandma wasn't at work with me. But anyway, uh, my grandma was talking about that stuff today, and she was like, "Cause she, cause she, she already got both doses of the shot." No, my pops and my grandma had got that Johnson and Johnson. You only get, you only gotta get one shot for that. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Dang. Okay, so yeah, she had got the both doses of the shot. So uh, she was telling me if I do anything, then I probably need to go ahead and get the shot. But I don't know. I'm still kind of skeptical about it. But I ha- but I haven't seen anything anything bad about it yet. Cause when it first came out, I was seeing bad stuff. I ain't gonna count. But yeah, but like seen. yeah, I ain't seen nothing bad about it yet. After after like the first month or so, I know, I know some folks. I think Ronnie Head got it in Sydney for like football. Yeah, they said it was straight. I think they ain't got a couple of them though. So, mm. well, they got a couple might, of shots. It, it might have just been that first and that second one, but I didn't know you had to get multiple shots when I first heard about it. So. Yeah, yeah. Some, some you gotta get like two. But yeah, like I said, the Johnson and Johnson, you just gotta get one. So. Mm. All right, but what y'all got for something good? Which one of y'all going? I go. Mm-hmm. Uh, my something good. It was some. It was good, but I didn't know that this had necessarily happened. Cause it was like, so today, like our little pay stub. We get paid on. We get paid on Tuesday, but the pay stub come out on like Saturday. So like I had like five fifty six, 
but they took out, out Texas, so I, I got like exact numbers. I got exact numbers. It was like five oh three. I want to say I get paid this week, but I didn't know that they had raised my pay. It was like seven seventy five at first, but that thing was like eight twenty five. Damn, <laughs> I didn't know. Like they had just tra- they had just started doing that on this chick, and I was like, oh shit. And then you know, uh, that boy. Uh, that boy Moneybag Joe just dropped his st- yeah. He just signed off on the stimulus. I still ain't got mine yet. So I was like, say I ain't got mine either, but I heard we supposed to be getting them by this time, so I'm going to get that. Mm-hmm. And then them tax returns coming. So shit. Man, I owe on them taxes, bro. We really up. We really up on that, no cap. I owe on them taxes. So I'm lucky he's probably, probably about to use some of my stimulus to just pay, pay that stuff back, so I ain't got to worry about it. But yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm for real. Hey, 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 that's what you got to do. So you don't so, so you, so you owe back, go ahead and use the money they gave you. To go ahead and pay it. So yeah, yeah. that's what I think I'm gonna do with uh with some of it. But what you got though, guy? What I got, man, man, so you know the Biden <laughs> books coming out, but they also gave The Biden what? The that Biden. man said the Biden books, bro. Oh, I thought he said the Bible coming out. <laughs> what? <laughs> no, 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 no. The Biden books, you know, them they coming out. But the college students, they got something last week. They gave us uh seven twenty. So, you know, I'm cool about that. And then I'm gonna get my STEMI too. So I'm really I'm really just happy. That's my something good, you know, getting paid. And getting paid. So, you know, um yeah, that's my something good. But what did they give y'all for that? I'm, I mean what did they get what did they give y'all that for? Because so with the um with the last stimulus they sent out that people got six hundred, they sent money to the college and the college is supposed to give it out to the students so that we get money from that. We supposed to get fifteen hundred, but Jack and State they playing with our money. They really gonna rob you yeah. They really robbing us because P- PV they got fifteen hundred, Tougaloo they got fifteen hundred. We getting seven twenty, but you know what? Fifteen hundred. So that means they got yeah. Valley got fifteen hundred. V- Valley probably got fifteen hundred too. Damn, bro. No, I ain't say <laughs> Valley. I said Natalie. No, yeah, Nelly, yeah, Nelly got fifteen hundred. That's more than a STEMI. Yes, and then we supposed to get another stimulus from the the one that just passed, so it might be even bigger. Uh, but y'all still getting robbed, so. Oh yeah, Jack stay robbing us. I'm a, I'm gonna call them financial aid. Like, where my money at, bro? Because they get fifteen, they get fifteen. Where's right. my fifteen? Show the love. Man. It's really gonna be a problem. Give a nigga, bro, that, love, nigga. <laughs> bro. All I, I, I all I something good was about some money, man. Like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like I'm glorifying the money, but it don't hurt the hand. You know? I feel you though. I feel you though. But yeah, y'all. Hey. I got a new. I got. I got actually got two new segments for y'all today. Yep. I didn't gave both of the homies their own segment since 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 I basically. Uh, I'm not gonna say run the whole show because y'all help me with the show and stuff like that. But I I I basically come up with like a, a lot of the topics every week. So I gave a little bit of the load to them. So first up, I got y'all. My boy Andrew is gonna have a sports section for y'all. Now, now I didn't know at first about doing a sports section on the pod because I'm not really well. I'm in the sports, you know. I watch basketball, football, and stuff like that. But Andrew way more into the sports than me, so I figured I'd go ahead and get him, give him that. So I'm gonna pass it off to Andrew for that first ever sports section on the pod, bro. Hey, how you doing? How you doing? It's your boy Andrew Davis, aka <laughs> Maclicious. You feel me? So. This is what happens when you, when you give folks stuff. <laughs> Go ahead. The, the sports section. We call it that Black Sports Network because, you know, we are African-American in this room. And, hey, it's not just going to be black sports, but I just said that. So, you know, the first topic I wanted to get into was on the <clears throat> on the set release that they are not, that I seen on NCAA football. So, apparently... Let me see. Let me pull it up. It said, according oh, got to, my opinion on this. That thing said, according to international, internal, I can't talk today, okay. internal documentation from the CLC, I don't know what that is, but it said they, they obtained something saying, basically saying that the newest, like, EA title for college football, it ain't going to come out until July of 2023. And I was like, 2023. That's what I said. I said, 2023. I, fi- I figure it's this because they're trying to get, like, as many licenses as they can for, like, each college team. Because some college teams, like Notre Dame, they said they're not going to come out. And they're not trying to be a part of the game for whatever reason. Notre Dame don't want to be in the game? I guess so. They like, said they won't be in the game until the students get paid. Yeah, you know, so I feel oh, like they, okay. th- some schools going to probably try to hold out until that p- stuff officially go through. Yeah. And then, like... 
you know, some schools are already on board because you know they just want to be a part of the game anyway. I'm about to say. So it's like I think I think EA trying to just get everybody in there, so they ain't gotta you know be doing all this other stuff. But I didn't think it was gonna be 2023. If I'm being real, I was expecting. Like, I mean, well, I mean, we are in 2021 though. We are. So, so it's like. I, I was, it's not that bad. What's up? It's not because I sleep was expecting. I ain't gonna lie. I was expecting it next year because you know they got some on teams in Madden right now. Huh? So I was. They got NCAA teams on Madden. Like mm-hmm. on the on the um. What's I'm sorry, y'all. I don't be playing Madden. On the so. um, what's it called? The long shot yeah. thing. They had yeah, Texas okay, on okay, there, yeah, and they yeah, had some yeah, of them other teams. Yeah. Alabama. So, but that's not out for right now. As far as I know, July 2023 is when to expect it. But I think. As long as they got two separate companies like they used to, and EA ain't running it, I feel like Man. it should be straight. That's what I was about to ask you. Because when Madden, if the Madden team is running this game, I promise you, I, it's going to be hard. It's going to be, we going to hype it up because we ain't had an NCAA game uh, in a minute. It's going to be a $19 Fortnite card. That's what it's going to be. Man, I ain't going to lie to y'all. <laughs> as, soon as, as, as soon as Andrew showed me the notes, I looked at that stuff, I said, man, they gonna find a way to make this Madden, and that's still gonna be like Madden. I'm not gonna want to play it because Madden is same every year to me. Hey, but they can get know. it right like they did NCAA 06. We straight, but we can only. Uh, that's a long shot right there. All right, what you got? All right, the next, the next <laughs> one. Man said that's a long shot. But go the ahead. next thing I wouldn't even think of like that. But anyway, the next thing I wanted to bring up was the Myers Leonard incident. I don't know if either one of y'all know about this. But the dude, I do not know the, the for, specific. The story. forward for the um, the um, we playing the Trailblazers. He, the heat, oh, he, he used to play heat. for the Trailblazers though. Okay, yeah. So Myers Leonard, I think he was playing War. Oh, he was on Twitch, wasn't it? Yeah, okay. I had watched this on another YouTube channel. It was like I think it's called like the Flight Mike or something like that. And so he was basically saying that Myers Leonard was playing Fort, not Fortnite, Warzone, mm-hmm. and um. Uh, I forgot. I guess somebody was sneak attacking him or doing something, attacking him on the game. And he was like, don't do that to me, you. And he basically caught, he called, like, it's a Jewish slur. It's like a, I don't know if I could just say Did it he on know that. of the slur? Don't say he, no, 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 no. He, Did he know of the slur? He, he just had to know the slur because he, the way he said it. So, basically, he said that, and then, like, I say it like this. That man, the flight Mike Jewish. So he was like, he, he was offended. Like, he was offended, but he was saying the word to like Jewish people is like our equivalent, like the N word. Oh, and wait, the N word, the N word with the ER or the A? I'm assuming the ER. I'm assuming the ER. <laughs> yeah, I think it's the ER because they he said they they like don't say that at all. Oh, like you can't be like, what up, my nigga? Like, no, it's the ER. So mm. they do it like that, and so. Yeah, so let me see. I had found some on that too. Like I had like updated on what actually they said. The league, like I think the Heat had already indefinitely suspended that man from the team, but the league said they gonna it, it says Myers Leonard has been fined fifty thousand dollars and suspended from all Heat facilities for one week after using an anti-Semitic slur. So yeah, basically he even got suspended for a week from like the team facility. But I think they still got the indefinite suspension on him anyway. And then I had seen something. I think it was like Julian Edelman said he reached out trying to talk to that man. I think Julian Edelman might be Jewish. Mm-hmm. And so I guess they trying I guess he just wanted to talk to that man and just see why he said it again. I don't know. I just feel like I mean, that's a weird. If you if you know if you know what you said and you know how you meant it, I see. I don't think that's just some random word that he just thought of to call somebody. I think he knew what it meant. I don't know why he said it. So I mean, I mean, sure. I don't see. I don't. And Myers Leonard ain't just no superstar, no way. I'm not saying. You should get some kind of preferential treatment if you a superstar. You say something like that, but he not no superstar in no way. So then he just do that. It's like, it's like um, I don't know. I I just think I just think he might get like you said he might get cut for it. I think that man getting cut for that. But what else he got, bro? Um, I was gonna break up the NFL off season, like some of the stuff that's already transferred. For y'all that don't know me and Cam, Cam we Saints fans, 
So it's like. Yeah, we get rid of everybody out here, bro. I try to tell it, man. I don't think we're going to be good at all because we pretty much cutting down to everybody. Let me see. I got a couple of them. We cut Quan Alexander. We cut. Janoris Jenkins. I'm not mad about us cutting Janoris Jenkins. Yeah, that man he was, was trash trying, he, anyway, he, so I wasn't worried about that. We cut him. We cut Emmanuel Sanders, and we signed him last year. That man ain't do nothing but, like, catch a couple passes in that uh, in that Bucks game, I remember. Yeah. We cut, we cut some other folks, and then it's like – and then we've been doing a lot of restructuring on a lot of folks' contracts. Like, I think we restructured Michael Thomas' contract. Malcolm Jenkins contract. We did a lot of contract restructuring to clear up cap, but I feel like we we was like a hundred million in over the cap. So even oh, yeah. once we get all this stuff restructured, we still I don't might don't have no money to spend in free agency anyway. I think the main go and my thing it's like Drew Brees ain't even said is he gonna retire? Is he gonna stay? So we don't. know. I think they're gonna try to retain Jameis. But it's like you don't know you're going to keep him if Drew Brees going to say, oh, I want to play. And then you might want to try to draft a quarterback, but you don't know. It's just a whole bunch of stuff. And then I was just looking in, you know, I seen uh, Pittsburgh said they might not retain Juju Smith-Schuster, which, I mean, I, I ain't got no – I don't think that's really going to hurt them that bad. I don't think they're going to be Why really Why they don't want to get him back? First of all, Juju. You want to get when when a, when AB left, they thought Juju was gonna be the number one. But mm-hmm. Juju, in actuality, is really like a number two, maybe number three receiver. Mm-hmm. He needs somebody. Number three disrespectful. I'm about to say they real number good. Two is that man okay. cold. Real real. He not so number. He, not one. Cold. he needs somebody to compliment him. That's why he was so good. When you got Antonio Brown on the other side, he can't cover both. It's not even that. You're going to pay more attention to Antonio Brown, and then that was leaving Juju with more opportunities to get open and make plays. You ain't got, He ain't got nobody like that no more. He got Chase Claypool. He a young book, but he ain't just Antonio Brown, or at least not right now. And then them other boys that got Deontay but, Johnson. But I feel like Chase Claypool is what Juju was to Antonio Brown because everybody's like, oh, bro, watch Juju, watch Juju, watch Juju. And Clay, Claypool just got open. He, that's why people say, oh, Clay, Claypool going to be cold. Yeah, but Juju, Juju ain't really just did nothing. AB was still dealing with that stuff before Juju got there and was still yeah. ha- having multiple thousand yard seasons though. But it so, is AB though. Exactly, but they thought Juju was gonna be something to him, to that degree, hmm. and he ain't even been that. So he didn't even have a thousand yard. They probably cut him some slack the year before because Ben <laughs> got hurt, and they had to rotate him between Mason Rudolph and Duck Hodges. But this year, Ben was back. Now, he ain't as good, keep in mind. But at the same time, they thought he was going to be better than um, – he, he, well, he's he definitely up. better than Mason Rudolph and them. So, yeah. Uh, another thing that happened, Cam Newton got brought back to the Patriots. I did not think A that was A deal like close to $14 million. Now, I know if Logan listened to this, he mad as hell. Because <laughs> I try to tell him. I think it's like this. I was watching – I think it was get up one morning. For one, it's either I, it's either like they said on get up or it's what I'm thinking. Now, in all fairness, Cam played like garbage last year, but at the same time, it was a hard enough situation. He for had a lot of stuff into. that was not going in his favor. He That's had, what I be telling he folks. He balled out the first, I want to say two games. He got COVID, and then I think he was still kind of dealing with the symptoms of it. But at the same time, he didn't perform up to par at what they thought. But at the same time, he doesn't have, to me, he he had Julian Edelman for like a couple weeks. Edelman got hurt and then come back. Mm-hmm. The rest of those receivers is pretty much garbage. Like, they yeah. thought, like, J- Jacoby Myers is like, uh, like a, he a good second, but he probably would be third in anybody else's, like, rotation. Nikita Harry, just a bust. They ain't got no true tight end that Cam could just duck it down to. They ain't really got – I think Sonny Michelle and them, a lot of them, I think they either hurt or they was opted out. I know Rex Burkhead was there, but Rex Burkhead ain't no just no reliable running back. Mm-hmm. And then a lot of their defensive pieces that they, would carry they, Cam, yeah, they, they opted like, out. Be out of so I feel like when they get those defensive pieces back and they need to draft the wide receiver, preferably somebody like – I ain't gonna, I don't think they need Devontae Smith. If they can, they need to try to see maybe about Jalen Waddle or uh, what's the dude from LSU? Jamar. Jamar Chase. 
Yeah, they didn't try to get one of those big body, like, go get a receiver. Mm-hmm. I feel like if they find a way to get a, find a way to get, like, a free agent wide receiver, or try to trade for, how about this, how about this? I was thinking of this. They trade for Odell. You know Kyle Pitts from Florida. That's what they I'm going to do. Try, I'm going to say Kyle Pitts from Florida. That was a devil. They need to try to find a way, see if they can get, like, Julio. <laughs> Uh, OBJ, oh. like make a trade for one, cause Atlanta finna rebuild. They gonna try to trade Matt Ryan. They might not trade Matt Ryan this year, cause I feel like they gonna draft. Uh, they gonna they're gonna, they gonna draft. The, they probably gonna draft Justin Fields and have him learn behind Matt Ryan for mm-hmm. a year and then trade him. But you probably can trade Julio right now, cause you got Calvin Ridley too. So it's like they could do that. And then be straight. I think that's all I had as far as the NFL stuff. Oh yeah, the only other thing I had. The Chiefs cut both of their starting offensive tackles after they pretty much lost the Super Bowl because their offensive tackles was hurt. Man, I'm probably think, trying to get some more pieces. It's man. not. It's. I think no. It's really because they gave Patrick Mahomes that big deal, so now they cap strap because they got him on a big deal. You got. I think they got Kelsey on a deal to like twenty twenty four. But Tommy is you not? Is, is you not gonna get him big money though? If they kill, they talking about trying to kill. No, I'm saying you got to do that, but it's like it's showing the the side effects of doing. It's, it, it's to a point where so you they, can have but then they, the team, but, but then but then they up the cap the other day or something like no, that. No, they lowered it. Down, if they like, lowered it. Yeah, yeah, because of COVID. See, it's like one. See, this, hey, hey, uh, this why this why I'm not running the sports section. I'll tell you. Yeah, I don't like, know what I'm they, talking they about. lowered it. I forgot what it was at last year, but it's like at 182 now. Mm-hmm. Okay, so, I thought they, I thought they, I thought they. Uh, so yeah, they had to, they had to make them cuts, but the lucky for them, the Chiefs kind of a good drafting team anyway, so they probably can find somebody. I'm about to say, but I don't know, I don't know if they can, but they need to try to see if they can get that boy Trent Williams from you remember the one that was in Washington, but they had he had that growth on his head. And then he had left. He went to the 49ers. You don't know what I'm talking about. What you play? Offensive Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I know you're talking about. I think he like left tackle or something like that. Yeah. But, yeah, uh, that's all I got on that one. But the last topic I had was just um, I was going to ask y'all y'all picks for the finals. I know it's like the second half of the season uh, after the All-Star break. And no, I really don't know. I, as far I don't know who coming out of the West, but I, it's pretty much it's got to be the Knicks now. They got Blake Griffin. They got, I said that at the beginning Blake of the season. Griffin ain't gonna just be tur- right. I said that without Blake. I, I'm saying. Katie Kyrie. Now they didn't have Harden in place. So. I said that without Blake and without I think Harden. when I mm. first saw it, I, I thought it was gonna be. Um, I don't know. I felt like. I don't know why. But I felt like it may have been Milwaukee. Because they no. got Eric. They got. Uh, not Eric Blake. So they got Drew Holiday. Mm-hmm. And, uh, that don't Chris that, Middleton with Giannis now. That don't seem like it panned out there, dude. Now the defender, he played that defense on them guards that need to be. I don't that know. team looked the same to me, bro. To be honest, it looked the I same as when it had Eric Blissell. Cause I don't. But I say, for sure, I think the Nets coming out. I don't think Blake Griffin just gonna be. Yeah, he not gonna make no Blake, splash. But really. he gonna he gonna no he gonna be better than he was. You you could tell he went like. The highlights I watched and videos I seen on Blake, you can tell he wasn't just playing with no enthusiasm because he was in Detroit. So, I he guess, knew he wasn't going to go nowhere. I, th- I just think he's going to be better than he was in Detroit for sure. Yeah. So, and then I think. Man, uh, how old is Blake Griffin? Blake, like he, 30, 30, he 31. He 31, 32. All right, he got a couple years left, yeah. So, I think I think they're going to make the East. And I say for the West, I feel like it's either going to be us or the Clippers. You don't feel like nobody else can beat y'all? No. In a seven-game series? No. Okay. I feel like... I just feel I like... I don't even know about, uh, uh, about about what every team is on East and what's on West. My thing is... Wait, where the Sixers is? The Sixers in the, the Sixers, East. I feel like they're in third place in the East. I feel like... I like the Sixers. I feel like the Sixers can make a move. I, they can make a run if they find a way to get Kyle Lowry like I be seeing. I feel like Kyle they Lowry... trying to get Kyle Lowry. Yeah. yeah. Put Kyle out of the one. Put Big Big Seven on Big, big Seven at the two, three. Oh, two, two. Or the three. I feel like he's not even playing no two. I know that. 
He probably be three. Listen, yeah, he, he gotta be a three. He, 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 play he can play four. four. Yeah, he can play four he too. Play four. But he he don't need to be on shooting guard though, because they got uh who they got playing shooting guard right oh, now. Oh, they got Seth Curry. Seth Curry, yeah, yeah, yeah. Push, He can be three or four. He can be Kyle at the one, Seth at the two, mm-hmm. probably Tobias at the three, Ben at the four, and Joe. Well, Joel hurt right now. Yeah, he got. He said they said two to three weeks, um, right? All right, hey, hey, my boy still gonna win MVP. I'm hoping for two or three weeks because I want to see Joe. Jo- jo- I want to see Joe Embiid jo- jo- yeah. is a baller. He is carrying that man series. deserved to succeed, bro. No I count. Ain't lie. He deserved, bro. And then, so yeah, I feel like, but the Knicks, and then I just feel like the the Jazz. I think they in the first seed right ain't now. Ain't the Jazz like the best team in the NBA the Jazz right like now? The best yeah. team in, but Rudy Gobert overhype. Donovan Mitchell. He Donovan Mitchell. He good. That boy good, Spider good. I he needs somebody he with him though. Yeah, he needs somebody better than Rudy Gobert. Yeah, Rudy he needs he needs somebody with Rudy him. Rudy Gobert really overrated. I don't see how he finna be DPOY because you got niggas like Giannis that was DPOY and he was guarding. He was he could guard. Hey, Rudy Gobert won DPOY five. before. Yeah, I'm saying though, he getting all these accomplishments, uh, but he only guarding. He he really do his damage down low. He not taking a nigga. Um, Outside, like on the three point, Giannis can at least try to do that and shut nigga. Rudy Gobert gonna get blown by every time. True. And so, but I feel like they not up there. I don't think the Nuggets the same this year. Even though Jokic still balling out, but yeah, they not the same. Um, no. He not the he best right center there. in the league like my boy Embiid. So, uh, um, yeah, that's probably it. that's probably it. To be honest, they not touching us. The Suns good this year, but. I don't see no. Chris Paul and no. Devin Booker. That's a, that's like a that's like a, a good second round team at best to me. Who else in the West? Nobody else really. To no, me. the Clippers man. is the only one I can see just topping the Lakers in seven games. Kawhi, he he still Kawhi. He they ain't just been shining the light on them like they was when he first got there. But Kawhi still nasty and. I don't know. It just really depends on what Paul George you get in the playoff. Paul George, a monster in the regular season. He like Drew Brees. He a he a dog in the in the regular season. Postseason come, it's like we'll see. So you always got to be skeptical. So, but I feel like it's either us or the Clippers coming out of the West, and then it's the Nets coming out the East. But that's it. That's it on the sport Black Sports Network. For this week, <laughs> I, hit I got either Sixers or Lakers going against the Knicks. That's all I got. I know the Knicks going. Like, they're going. Huh? Sixers and the East. You mean the Sixers See, or I'm the Knicks? I'm telling y'all, bro, I do not know what the team Sixers is. The Sixers or the Nets in the East is what you're saying? No. Well, you must be oh, just you saying the Nets. You mean the Nets or the Lakers in the final? Yeah, yeah. He said yeah. the Sixers Okay, okay the so the Sixers got to beat the Nets, right? Yeah. Okay, so yeah, that. Okay. The Lakers yeah. and the Knicks, basically. Something like that. Okay. All right. Yeah. That's that's Black Sports Network this week. All right, All right y'all. So, that was a first on the pod, and I got another first on the pod. My boy Godfrey is about to run Ready Reacts for y'all. Hey, if, if y'all don't know, follow follow my boy on TikTok. He got Ready Reacts over there, too. So, let's get to it, Godfrey. Well, let's get to it. Okay, so the question on Reddit. Well, first of all, first of all, I need you to run down what you're gonna be doing on Reddit React. Okay, so Reddit Reacts, you know, all I do, I I find X Reddit. X Reddit is a thread on Reddit where you can ask questions and people comment their responses. So today, the question was, what happened? <laughs> Boy, what happened when you when you when you slept with with a friend's sister? And these people are really crazy. So we're gonna we're gonna discuss about two or three. I'm gonna ask them how they feel about the situation, and we're gonna we're gonna move on. So the first one says, introducing my friend to some hot girls I know. He bought himself and them a ticket to a concert without inviting me. The next weekend, I went. He on- introduced his friend. Yes. I, girls. You know what? I'm gonna, I'm gonna just let you finish it first. I'm gonna let you finish it first. Finish. This is sick, man. Next weekend, I went on a rugby away trip. Went out that night. Not even from Australia. Yes, that man said hooked up with a slightly chubby girl and went home with her. Now why you had to say this? That's what I'm saying. Why you gotta bring big girls in there? But stop! But stop! I right, go ahead. Go ahead. It's, it's gonna get worse. Go ahead. It's gonna get worse. Let him finish first. It's gonna get worse. Can we interrupt him? Woke up the next morning, rolled over, and saw that it was his sister. 
it was it was his friend sister it was his friend that sister went to the yeah. Hey, yeah. he did that on purpose, bro. He did it on purpose. That man gonna act like act like he, he did, did it on that purpose because he didn't invite him to the little thing. Also, he got mad and smashed that man's sister because he didn't take him to the. Concert. But he but he trying to act like he didn't. But know he, that. he said he oh, didn't so know. That's why he just said some chubby girl. Yes, yes. he knew that, bro. He knew that, man. Did. He did He did that despite he, that, man, he did, bro. He did that for get back, no cap. He did that despite that, man, bro. That's dirty as hell, though. That really is dirty. That is it. I mean, that's not exactly dirty, though. You could just confront it, bro, and be like, bro, why are you going to invite me or something? But you didn't have to go smash that man's sister. But it's not like he intentionally did it, though. He did intentionally do it though. Like let let's not That's let's let's energy, let's on, not say he did no, let's not say that he no, didn't intentionally do it. God. Yeah, he he did he he had he had bad intentions when he did that. He knew he knew he was doing with that one. It's a mixed personality, huh? Yeah, man. Mm mm mm. But um, what I would do? I don't know. I wouldn't. I would tell the old dude. I would just be like, yeah, man. I swear, I'd be like, man, you know. I just had it a was, I just it was a boring weekend. It was a boring weekend, man. Nothing happened. And then he gonna call me. My sister said, uh, I mean, but that's your friend, you. though. That's not just some nigga sister. That's your homie. You all that time. That's, that's like, your that's homie. Like, that's sister. like if I hit your sister mm-hmm. and then you was like, you find out that I hit your sister. I ain't just. You would want me to up. say, yeah. When you, you want me to know? That, when not you want me to tell you? I, I wouldn't want to know. I wouldn't want her to tell you. <laughs> I wouldn't want okay. you to tell you. Okay. I, just, I would just like, hey, I don't want to know what y'all did because it's y'all business. Okay. So Respect you would feel some type of way though? I would feel some type of way, but I mean, y'all are two consisting adults, and y'all but, can do what y'all want to do. But he can't feel some type of way if he don't know. Yeah. So, but and then again, y'all are consenting adults. Y'all are consenting adults. But I don't know. Like, okay, I think it's like okay. So I, with that situation, I ain't like it was like a one night stand type thing. Yeah, we don't know. I mean, hey. He says this one time. Hey. I can see. Okay, I can see if one of y'all was like, "Okay, you with my sister, and y'all are dating type stuff." And then, I mean, of course, I'm gonna think, "Okay, they probably fucking." Not saying I'm that's gonna be on my mind, but I'm just saying, you know, I know that. But if you, I ain't gonna lie, I'm a god right now. They consent to adults, bro. But if y'all just hitting each other, you just hit my sister just to spite me. He claims it's not to spite him, though. Of course he's going to say that, but he don't want to look at it. He don't want to fuck on his ass already. So yeah, true, 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 true. Yeah. That is true. All right, you got any more guys? But that was a good one, I, I don't know. I'll be like, hey, man, y'all consider the adults. Um, the next one, the next one is kind of long. So um, here we go. I was about 18 years old, and she was about 16. Uh, the age of consent is 16 here. <sighs> I mean, it's only two years. It's only two no, years. They, they still in high school, so okay. Oh, they were at a party at my friend's house, well, and she was. Question. <laughs> ask your question before I finish. No, okay, it's not even about the story, but it's like, okay, how do y'all feel about this stuff? Consent? No, no, no. Of course you should have consent. Of course you should have consent. My thing is, it's like, it's like folks look at you funny because it's like, yo, say your girl, say your girl. Like seventeen, eighteen. Oh, okay. And you like, I know we talking you about like twenty, twenty one. Uh huh. They'll look at you like you a goddamn pedo because your girl. Wait, wait, wait stop. Hold you. You, you said, said 17, 17, 21. 17, 18. But seventeen, eighteen are two different things, though. Okay, okay. Well, say you said she's seventeen and you twenty one. Okay. Is that necessarily a bad thing? Yeah, think of, but it's bad. I'm gonna, I'm gonna tell you. I'm gonna tell you why it's bad in some people's eyes and not bad in other people's eyes. How, I know I, what you about to say. Okay, too. I want to know how it is in your eyes. In my eye? okay, so it's it's more of a, a maturity level thing. So there there are relationships like uh, older people, like people are ten years apart. And you're like, don't y'all find uh, that weird? No, because like let's say a thirty year old is dating a forty year old, they both know what's right and what's wrong. And so nobody, so nobody's gonna say anything because they're mature enough to know, hey, this is right and this is what's wrong. Okay, okay, okay so let's say, say like that. Go ahead. Uh, I was gonna say, okay, you say it's like that, but say your girl seventeen, mm-hmm. but. You know how some people grow up faster than other. You people. know what I'm saying, like, and, so like, and, and like, they say women mature faster than men. That's what I'm saying. So, so she might be on a different maturity level at 17 than and you I, was listen, at or right. At I, I agree with that point, but some people be like, "Man, that's just nasty." You're grooming her. No, these people know it what they want. No, these, you're even, not even trying to groom these nobody. Te- these like, teenagers know what they want. How about I say we had girls in our grade? These niggas look like they about 25 and, uh, and about they say, like and just and turned and 18. What's wrong with that? It's true. In a lot of, and a lot of them folks didn't even go to our school. Like they just Real they talk. was coming up there and smashing the girls. So. Like auto stores, like like not saying niggas can't go to auto stores, but it's like these niggas was in there working or 
that I see them on college campus. I'm like, and you're talking to such and such. And I'm not gonna tell nobody about it. And and oh, I, I'm not gonna say the girl name. I'm gonna I'm, I'm gonna tell y'all after the pod because we went to school with the girl. We was in ninth grade. What grade you went when we when we in ninth grade? We said what grade? Sixteen. I mean, how how old? No, 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 no. Fourteen, fifteen. Ninth grade. Yes. Okay. Yeah. We was fifteen. Fourteen, fifteen. Because we was eighteen and twelfth grade or seventeen. Boy, that's crazy. That's crazy. So, so you said fifteen, right? Fourteen, fifteen. Yeah. Bro, I know this one girl. <laughs> she said her date to the prom was a college dude. Whoa! Wait, 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 wait. The summer here prom? Yes, and nine we were, we was in ninth grade, and her date to the prom. Okay, no, okay. no, 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 not prom, but but whatever the dance, school, the school day, whatever dance we had in ninth grade, her date was in college. So oh, no. okay, I ain't gonna judge it. I'm gonna judge it. That's bad. Okay, like that. That's a form of grooming right there. 14, 14 year old, you learn a lot through high school. We need eighteen. She not even. 20 yeah, okay. I say like okay. That's what I say. Yeah, I feel like they should at least be in high school, and I'm not even talking about like. Freshman, I feel like junior, junior sophomore, no, junior, 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 senior, that's good. I feel like sophomore, freshman, nah, dog, nah, nah, They nah. still got some thinking. And, and that's high school, do. but if after that, it's like, I think you're good after that, because it's like, I don't know. Mm. It's like, mm. I don't know, because like, I feel like you learn a lot. Them, you learn a lot of lessons them freshman and sophomore year, so like junior, Saying you yeah, you good, mm-hmm. so I don't know. After that, it's like mm-hmm. that's crazy though. It's, it's like that's all you got for ready reaction. You got some else? I'm trying to finish this. Yeah, he got finish. Oh, he he did it. Oh, okay, okay. All right, all right, go ahead and finish it. Okay, okay, okay. So uh, I was about 18. He said the girl was 16. There was a party at my friend's house, and she was there. We're sitting under a blanket on the opposite ends of the couch, and they had been dragged outside. My friend was with his female friend on some opposite, uh, in some chairs opposite. He began to start kissing and doing general teenage boy things with his girl. They got up and took it inside to his room. I still don't know what happened, but we kind of looked at each other and just ended up taking various items of clothing off. Being 18, (laughs) being 18, I was not well accustomed. To the effects of alcohol, I fell asleep with my fingers in. Oh, oh my gosh! What? <laughs> oh, I'm not gonna get demonetized. You know what? Go ahead. Go okay, ahead. I fell asleep with my fingers inside her. Her Frank. Frank. Frank you, you, you use appropriate <laughs> words. I fell asleep. We like listen, but some of this stuff is too gruesome. Okay. Gruesome. Gruesome. Go ahead, man. Go ahead. Gruesome for you too. Go anyway. ahead. He said, I fell asleep with my fingers inside her and it hurt frantically tugging my abyss, trying for a response. I didn't even wake up when she left and I slept like a baby. See, this is what I'm talking about. So he don't think, so, 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 so he claiming he don't remember either. Yeah, he said he doesn't remember. Why everybody worry about it already? Act like they don't remember what happened. These folks on Reddit. Act like they got see. amnesia or something they already. See. They know what went down. They know what happened. No, okay, this going to be the last one and then we're going to go to the I'm about to say it. Okay. 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 Now, this was really terrible. This okay. Now, when y'all are saying, "Oh, would I t- should it, should should you tell me if you did something with This one is where it counts. Okay. This man Wait. said. This man said I slept with two of my friends, <laughs> two two of my sister's friends. If that if that does anything for you, he oh. says. First, we're all in college, so no high school drama. Okay. Second. The hookups happened in successive years. Okay. Third, the second way knew about the first way. Uh, fourth, my sister really didn't mention it. She didn't know about the first one until I told her. Or more exactly, my other sister told her. That story, good times. And five, I miss being in my early 20s. So, I'm going to go back to number three. The second one. Uh, the second one knew about the first one. I feel like she was just like. That's, that's disgusting. That's sick. <laughs> I, I was a sick. Okay, bro, you is smashing the same dude your sister smashed. No, 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 no. Wait, they're friends. So one friend wait, messed with the other friend. I thought you said the dude was hitting both sisters. No, 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 no. I slept with two of my sister's friends. So, so, oh, so it's yeah. like that's not dirty. Well, that's that's on her that's on her sister's friend. Yeah. Okay. So why you gotta tell your sister that? You don't. You don't have to. But no, you don't. 
Okay. Okay. Stop. But if it, if, if they're good friends, you would, you would you would too. I can see. No. What what I got to y'all the hoes. <laughs> Real talk. <time. laughs> Yeah, yo, that just means your sister friends is some hoes. Now I don't know if she gonna get mad at them for that because like if it's consensual, that's all I know. Yeah, if the, if, the, if the consent and the age thing out the window is whatever. To me. And then it's like know. it's like it wasn't like he was. At, it don't sound like he was asking for a relationship about either one of them. So they knew what it was. No strings attached. True. But I feel like the second one. The second one was just like, hey, since one friend did it, I gotta do it too. And she was like. All, all okay, that just make your friends from home. Yeah. yeah. Hey, that's no okay. Problem. That's it. I guess so. I mean, <laughs> yeah, I don't see what you would have to tell. I can see if it was like, you was making, like, I ain't gonna lie, when he first started telling the story, I thought he was gonna be like, I smashed two of my friends. Like, Oh, sister, yeah. You know, I wasn't even gonna say sister. I was just gonna say like, like they... Like that girlfriend. So I ain't know it was like a sister. Now that's no. low down right yeah, there. Yeah, yeah, that's, 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 that's trashy right there. That's trashy right there. That's trashy right there. Right Trash right. boot. But uh, yeah, man, that's uh, that's sick. <laughs> All right, y'all. So that concludes Ready Reacts for this week. <laughs> <laughs> All right, y'all. So we're going to get into the music category of this week. The first topic we got on music this week is... how I, I, I used to say it post-humans, but I, I think it's called posthumous. I think it's posthumous. That's how I say it. I will posthumous albums, and how do we all feel about them? All right, so I guess I'm gonna go first since I introduced it. Uh, the first thing about posthumous albums, the first person I'm gonna bring up is the Pop Smoke album. The Pop Smoke album was fire. I'm not gonna cap. When the Pop Smoke album came out, I was listening to that thing like every day. I'm, I'm not gonna lie, but when I heard the um. What's the album? what's the person? Juice World album is when I started saying I don't know. I don't really know if these posthumous albums really need to yes, always come out. No, 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 no. I no, no. This, but this is what I mean. Hmm. Now, Juice World was one of my he in my top ten of of rappers. I fuck with Juice World. All I'm saying is it kind of. It kind of low key hurt me to listen to that, knowing, knowing how he died. That's all I'm saying. about the music was still good, everything was still good in the music, but knowing how Juice World died and hearing some of the stuff he said on the album about drugs and uh, and about him wanting to about him wanting to do what he ended up doing is bad. My thing about my thing about posthumous albums is... That's why it's not as bad about the Pop Smoke thing, because Pop Smoke never talked about, oh, I'm going to kill myself. No, it ain't, stuff like it that. ain't necessarily the subject matter for me. It just be like, sometimes you hear them posthumous albums, and you be like, man, they was on some talented shit, like real talk, like Pop Smoke or Juice or... Yeah, Pop Smoke could have been... Well, he was big, but he, like, he could have been huge. Maybe, maybe even Vaughn to a degree... It's just like you hear these albums and you be like, these folks were so good. It'd just be so, it'd, it'd be sad sometimes. Like even like the subject matter with Juice and his drug addiction, it's it's hard to listen to it because of that. But it just be like what they could have been compared to what they was. Like you you think they on a big scale just because now even though they gone, but it's just like they could have been on a bigger magnitude than what they would if they didn't die. And like so all that music Juice got. And then Juice got like 300 songs he ain't released. I heard. I think it might be more than 300. But it's not even about that. I feel like I was watching the video. It was like Hip Hop Madness. And he was talking about it. It's like I'm seeing different perspectives of it. It's like sometimes. Like right now I think I'm on the thing of. Like if the artist didn't make. Wasn't in the works of making the project before they passed. They shouldn't drop it. You probably should just lay that music to rest. Okay. Cause oh. some, no, no, no. Cause some, now Tupac. Got like five or six posthumous albums. Yeah, that and then just the fact of with X, with like two albums he dropped. Like you could tell they was unfinished. Okay. And they yeah. really, okay. Now see, I got you. I, I, I now, this the point. This the point. Like, like, like they was unfinished and they didn't sound good at all. And it's like you them X albums. Yeah. They was in a way they was just cash grabs. 
Just like, just like, just like you know, Michael Jackson album. Like, yeah. the, like now the Escape album was good. Like the that first Escape album, was cold. Yeah, Escape was cold. I remember. But they Escape. released another one after that. That was like, and then, what they released did? another one after after yeah. after and Escape. Then, and then the thing, and then the thing with X was, it was like they did that, and then I I think on the Hip Hop Man video, it was like um, his mama she managing some artist, and they actually went on X's. Uh, they went on his. Make out here his uh his Instagram, Instagram his IG account and they promoted live, it. They went live like like he been dead. I think it was like and they promoted it like last year. They promoted some song that broke at bro. They really did that. I yeah, did not know they did that. Yeah, like I seen y'all the video if y'all want to watch. That it. ain't cool right there. But like yeah, it's like it it really just depend on how you coming about it. If the if you know the person. If you really knew the person, and before they died or whatever, they were just talking like, "Man, even if I die, I want my music to get dropped." That's one thing, and that's cool. But if they dead, and I ain't really was talking like that when they was alive, it's like don't, don't force that music and don't even release it. Like it, it hurt that some of them juice, like some of them juice dudes I heard, they cold. Like I think it's like what Purple Montclair, that one raw. I feel like the music that they put on that Juice album was just like specifically, it was just, it was just specifically like like not a good vibe of somebody that didn't already passed. I'm gonna be honest, cause he got way more, he got way more, you know, like I, yeah, I like think, yeah, like I uplifting think it music. Should've, it should it should have been um uplifting. Some of the stuff he was talking about on that. It, it's some deep stuff. I don't know. I guess it's that, hard for me to even listen to that. Like. I think they were trying to make it emotional, though, in a way. But I don't know. Like, I think it is such a thing as being too emotional, especially if they did. Pop Smokes was like a bunch of stuff. Like he had love songs on there. He yeah, I feel like Pop Smoke was done the that. best. And then, but but they said him and Fifty Cent was already working on the album, yeah. so he knew what he wanted. And then it's like. Yeah. And then and then uh, and then another thing about the X thing. I was listening. I was listening to this song today. Bro, they had an X tribute song. I, I, I don't know if y'all remember that song. It, it, it was called uh, it was called it was called Arms Around You. They got a little pump on that song. That man talking about doing drugs and, and, and smashing bras on a uh, on an X tribute song. Oh, you, you, I gotta hear that one now. <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm play that thing. Uh, I'm gonna play that thing after we done with the pod. But I, heard that. I was just sitting. No, I know you done heard the song, but but you probably want to listen to the lyrics. My thing is, and then it's like it go back to the. They really like X, mm-hmm. pop, Juice. and then I remember they stream just go crazy when they die. That's just I don't know. It's just so much. Fake but that's the thing about everything. About everything they I'm say. Sorry, they say your art. It just it just because there's just so much fake energy in it. Cause like yeah. even with Lil Wayne, like the song was all right. The Don't Cry on Carter Five, yeah. but it's like Wayne didn't really know that man because he going out on stage talking about. I don't know. Triple extension, y'all. Triple extension, y'all. Like, like, I think he just said that because, because, because. I don't know, but I don't know. But it was true that that they they didn't say this multiple times that Lil Wayne don't listen to nobody music but himself. That's so what I'm saying. I think, I he just, probably didn't listen to X. He, I mean, I guess he was trying to pay respect in a way, but at the same time, I mean, he really just didn't know, bro. Like that, you didn't have to. Uh, I don't know. I, I if I can see if maybe he sent the proceeds to the family, but the way X family set up ain't like. Listen, I feel like these 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 albums that are created after death, they should be to tribute the artist, not money grab. There are some people like X's album and like maybe like you should X- even do a posthumous album. Or maybe you should just do like what they used to do, like when maybe like a greatest hits or something. I mean, something but like I think it really and started. It started, it started with Tupac, and I feel like it started with Biggie. Start with Big and Tupac, and they were like, "Okay, since it blew up like that, both of them albums are, are platinum. True. And since it blew up, that, they were like, hey, when somebody die, we we'll gonna put out something.' They died, but I mean, that was big when it was alive. Yeah, that was when huge. done when done the right way, it is a beautiful thing. But when it's for money and and string, you can see when it's real. You can hear it yeah. in the in the final product when it really be more like, like I found it so disrespectful when mo- when it was necessarily about money but the same time, I don't know they, they did say the label um, Lil Bibby and them was talking about how like even I don't even think that man was dead for a good minute like you know the next Juice album in the way so but they did say they did say I got two things to say I got, I got two last things to say about that Juice about that Juice thing cause we spent a lot a lot of time on just, on just one topic mm-hmm. but uh 
for one, they said the label cried when they was listening to the album before they put it out. Like l- l- like all the songs that they said they was crying just because Juice was gone and stuff like that. That's what I'm saying. I and like- number two, they were saying uh, days before he passed. They had a then they have like an AA meeting for him. Yes, yeah. days before he passed. Yes, and he and, and and he agreed to it. So I don't know. It's 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 just a crazy situation about that juice thing. Yeah. I feel like I feel like I feel like he should have got help before that, but it's not my place to say that because maybe they was trying to get him help and he didn't want it. So I say it's to a point where you just like just too broken. You like, hey, I need help. Yeah. But yeah, we gonna get on. Um, I I guess a more is really not more lighthearted, but it's way more way more lighthearted than death. But we are not gonna spend that that long on on this next subject because it's not really that that much uh, information about it. I just heard about it. Now, all right. So I heard some this week that said J Cole waited on NBA YoungBoy in the studio for like se- eight hours. yeah for, for eight hours. Now we don't know what they was doing in the studio. You know, I know, I, I know. Sometimes our artists just be in the studio to chill. They don't always make music. But all I want to say is, I still J Cole. That would have been hard. But they said that would have been a hard song. I don't know if you seen the same one I seen, but it was like he he waited eight hours in the studio for Young Boy. Ended up going C Twenty One Savage, and then they made a lot. That's what I, I mean, think. yeah, but still, man, he, he bro, I don't know, like, like they said, I heard, I seen something that said, they said, young boy, young, young boy said that his head wasn't in the right place to be in, to be in the studio with J. Cole. I mean, that's at understandable, time. but he could have told them, man, it sounded like he just didn't never tell that man at all. Yeah, bro. if you, if you, if you waiting for eight hours, I don't know, but yeah, I just want to. I don't think J. Cole would have just sat there for eight hours, this man was like, you know, my head ain't in the right place, maybe we need to reschedule this, or so try to, uh. Season. Yeah, you're not gonna sit there for eight hours and, and you can potentially reschedule something like. Come mm-hmm. on. You got anything about that guy? But what? Uh, I mean, these artists. I don't know. I feel like I feel like respect comes into play because, in my opinion, I know people could be like, "Man, this ain't true." But J Cole is a far better rapper than NBA YoungBoy. I'm not gonna say it will ever be because nobody knows what your potential is. But but they do have different styles though. Yeah. They do have different styles, but it, it comes to a point where, hey man, this dude has been out this long. He's made albums. He should look at no him. As, he should look no, at him as like a big homie. Yes, no features. It and went platinum. Like that takes talent. I was about to say it ain't even about like like Cameron said. It ain't even about him uh, making music, but just the the knowledge he could pass on just from being in the music game so long, just having different albums and stuff that he didn't <clears throat> then uh. Produce like you said, no features and all that. I mean, young boy don't use a lot of features like that either, but he do that to himself. J. Cole make beats too. He could have made a beat for him or something. Yeah, but he do like but like I was saying, young boy do that to himself. He just so quick to isolate. Yeah. As soon as like True. Like, don't get me wrong, young boy like one of my right now, all the time, probably like in there in the top five. Because like I it it really just didn't hit me until like last week that I was like, man, I listen to a lot of young boys. Just like his music. It's just somebody, he just want somebody I know if, like, if I just, it's just when I listen to music, I just know I'm listening to him at least one song every day. Either him or probably like Lil Uzi or something. Mm-hmm. And so it's like, I don't know, but he just, it's just like these beefs he didn't got into and these just long standing grudges he didn't got into. He didn't isolate himself off from a lot of the industry too. Like, like you know, he got the thing with Fredo Bang, and it's like once he uh once Fredo Bang go do a song with anybody, he he pretty much quick to say, oh, I'm not gonna work with him no more. Like, like he was cool with Gates, he was doing like music with Gates. Gates did a song with Fredo, he got a problem with uh Gates now, and then like like I don't know if he was gonna talk about it or not. Like a little baby had offered to do another song with that man. And young boy declined that, so it's like that could have been a huge song. It's gonna, it's gonna get to a point where he's gonna he's gonna get to. He's still young though. Yeah, he twenty one. He he our age. Yeah, yeah. yeah. He, yeah. he can age. learn, but it's gonna get to a point where people will be like, okay, you don't work him. I, we don't want to work with you. <laughs> to be honest, you do your stuff. You be great by yourself, and we'll be great up. I mean, I don't think he got a problem with that either though. 
But what? Oh, you're being great? Yeah, yeah. He ain't got a problem with that. If, if you can depend on yourself and without nobody else, you doing your thing. I said keep doing it. He always going to have his fan base because like, it's it, not like he making trash music. No, no, no. Because the top was good, still stuff. Is still no, no, 38 Baby 2. Yeah. That's a good one. You, you, you got to grow on you. That's what I was trying to. T- Y'all don't want to listen to me. I'm but, like I, okay. Baby too. Okay, but yeah, yeah, yeah. I, like I, I said, I didn't want to spend too much time on you. The last person to talk about that because I'm telling him. Scorpion was good. He didn't believe me. No, Scorpion was good from the. But y'all dismissed that young boy album quick though. J- j- just like y'all did with uh with, with that um, what's that the baby album that just came out? But just anyway, like you did. Well, I think the next topic is. But what next topic? What what's after this? The relationship topic. Oh no, nah, it's the. Who, no, it's who, like who the, you gonna talk about then? It's before the mystery thing. That's what I was talking about. He anyway, that. anyway, like I said, he turned up. He turned it up. Yeah, yeah, yeah I did. So, no, he he turned on division. Oh, anyway, oh, 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 oh. now like I said, next next topic we got for y'all is the relationship topic, and I got a question for y'all. Mm-hmm. Where do y'all think? Okay, now first of all, first of all, this is what I want to say, bro. We gotta stop using the word simp so much. That's true. All. First of all, I'm gonna just say that. Do y'all agree on it? I agree on that. I promise you. I, agree. I feel like the word get thrown around. I'm gonna tell you why I agree, but I'm gonna tell. Continue, I'm continue. gonna tell. It. That's the question. That's the no, topic. no, no, no. I'm just, I'm just, I'm just saying. I'm just do, saying do, do we all agree? We think yeah, the word simply used too much. I it agree. On, it, like I, I'm gonna get into it later when you tell me what the topic is. But it's like it's really just like the context of the situation, basically. But I people is using the word too nah, much. Nah, is what I'm nah, saying. I'm saying they use it for everything. I'm just tell like me, you can hold. Just tell me what the simple you can hold a door open for a great body, man. You assume like nah, people nah, be doing nah, that. No, no, no. No, but, but, we, we but people that be, be, that's what I'm telling you, they be doing well, yeah, it. Say, tell them, tell them the topic. All right, all right, okay, okay, piece. okay. I'm, I'm, let me go first. <laughs> no, you're going to say something. You, you, let me go first. You want to go first? No, nah, he's you want to go first. Let me go first. You going to say something. Okay. Like Where do y'all think the line gets drawn between being a simp and just being, you know, a a good man, a gentleman? Okay. Where do y'all think ooh, the line ooh, gets drawn? Let's get it, boy. I'm going to let y'all go and I'm going to go last on this one, I guess, because I've been going first. Okay. So where the line is drawn is where where the respect and how you treat each other go. Because simping is you buying this girl flowers, you texting every day, you you going okay. out No but stop, but stop. You like, going out your way to prove your worth to this girl and she still treats you like nothing. And you doing this for months and probably a year. Mm-hmm. And that, that that's simping. Now, being it's, a, it's definitely simple if she if if she not reciprocating no kind of energy is definitely simple. Now, being a gentleman is, and this is what I have to learn. You are you are treating her nice. You're doing stuff, and the, like the mutual respect is there. You're doing this, she's doing that. You're doing this, she's yeah. doing. That's not simple. So so, you, so please don't get in your head. Hey man, I don't want to be a simp. Man, dude, if you wanna if you wanna get a girl, if you wanna have a healthy relationship, you have to. You have, right. to be uncom- so, yeah, you have to be so uncomfortable. Yeah, you have to be uncomfortable sometimes. You're saying as long as y'all showing each other the same energy, it ain't simple. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. It's, it's not it's it, it's not simple if if both of y'all is honestly inter- interested with each other and y'all and, and y'all have an understanding around. My like if you hold on, hold on, hold on. Say, let me let me finish my speech first. Listen, right, go ahead, go ahead. If you cash up in this girl, because <laughs> <laughs> people do this. All right, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. If you cash in this girl, money, money, you know you be like, man. She might not like me, but I'm gonna cash up or something so I can hopefully one day, you know, do something with it. That's some ultimate simp. That, that's some ultimate simp because it's like you saying send her money just to fuck. Mm. Send her money and you don't even you're not doing none of that. You're not doing none of that. You you hoping you, you will. You just sending her money hoping to get her attention. You're baby. hoping to get attention oh. so she you she can talk to you. Now that's simple. You like there comes to a point where you have to show your self respect. Like dude, I'm gonna say it's this. so many other. I'm gonna women. say this right now. There's no. There's no Kukurana in the world that you should pay for. Who? Kukurana. Hey. Why, why did you say all that? Because, because it, it, there's, it shouldn't be that. Like, if you, if you have to pay for you really shouldn't have to. You should be focusing on working on yourself, getting money. Because that's what's going to really make her. That's what's going to make her, yeah. Exactly. Don't pay any mind to her. Okay, I'm going to give y'all a real tip right here, right now. Don't say I never helped y'all. <laughs> if, if, if you want somebody, pay them no mind. I'm not, I'm not going to say just, just don't pay them no mind at all. But just... Treat them like a normal person. Boy, I thought he was about to say something so awkward. Oh, you thought we were giving Kevin Samuels, boy? Yeah, you gotta. Uh, 
Yeah, he hit the nail right on the head with that. What you got to say, Andrew? You got to say something stupid, bro. I didn't know you about that. No, I really told you. Where, where does the line get drawn between simping and a gentleman? It's like, it's, I'm just going to say, it's like my boy Logan to me. It's like, it ain't simping, especially if it's for your girl. I'm gonna get no, like, oh, bro. Don't none of this stuff apply if it's your girl. Nah, don't but like even apply. then though, even then, like like you'll do something for your girl and do certain stuff for her. Or you might buy her something just like out of the blue, and it don't even be like no holiday, no anniversary, no what you call it like that. And you might just buy her something or do something for it, and they'll be like, ah oh, man, you a simp like this. Like I ain't gonna say you a simp. I but you can be a simp in a relationship though. Real talk. How? If, like, it's one thing. Like, like he, it's like he's saying, you could be doing. It's like if y'all reciprocating it to each other. But say y'all in a relationship, but it's like you buying her all right, this and that. Not saying, not saying the materials is what you should be after. But it's like she don't so try to like do you, nothing. You, not, it's you like putting in. You putting in it's like ninety. It's like ninety ten percent. Yeah. So it's like she putting in. You putting in all this work. And she'll do something every so so just to make sure you still in it with her. But it's like I don't know. It's like she kind of. I, I, I don't think that's your fault then, though. I think that's the female fault then. But you should be. You should see that though. You yeah, you should, should be able to identify that though. But yeah, yeah, saying, yeah. I'm yeah. saying it's some folks. They 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 know they not getting reciprocated that, but they like man. I don't know. I love her type stuff. Like love her boy type stuff. And it's like, bro. If she care for you, like talking about, not saying she just got a shower with you with gills, but at the same time she will do some stuff out the blue, like probably like you do for her, just some other stuff like that. But it's like, yeah, I ain't gonna say, I ain't gonna say like that stuff y'all talking about. Yeah, you gotta treat her with respect. You just gotta, you know, be you. You should always feel like you can be yourself with a girl you trying to talk to or your girl in general, and you true, shouldn't true. have to. And then, like, let's just be honest with it. Even before she your girl, you gonna you still you, gotta, you still yeah. gonna spend some money. Like, you shouldn't be concerned. Just don't do nothing crazy, though. Yeah, you shouldn't be taking that bit to the moon, ordering root Chris. Like, you that. Know but, the you, line. but you know, you know, like, I, I, wait, wait, you like, said it, what? You shouldn't be or taking her to the moon, ordering root Chris. <laughs> she need to be in McDonald's oh, doing all this, oh, and then sh- oh. shouting her with gifts off the bat. Like when I, like when I, before I just made Amber my girlfriend. Okay. We went. We went to. We went. Nice hand. Hey, <laughs> okay. hey, 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 Act like you something you not, cause I'm not gonna act. I wasn't finna. It wasn't like I was finna take that girl to uh, Red Lobster, Olive Garden, act like I'm just big baller, and then be over there trying to uh, t- t- take one of my homies, be like, hey, hey cash out me right quick, and I'll give it back to you later. Trying to flex, like not saying she don't expect me to take up place like that after that, but at the same time, it ain't no point in me just lying off the bat like I'm just this rich nigga and I'm not. And so it's just like. Yeah, and you can tell when you simple for a girl because you'll take up for any little thing that she do, right, knowing that it's right, wrong, right, knowing right, she right. doing you wrong, and she doing other folks around her see, wrong. See, see, we weren't even hitting on that. We was talking about, we was talking about like a materialistic standpoint, but you can simp emotionally too. You yeah, can like simp. you can know a girl doing wrong, or she just saying some stuff that's out the way, and, and you know crazy. that it's not with your character, but you still yeah, agree with it just because it's her. Because you want her so bad, or you just want to. Uh, do stuff for her. That's crazy. You gon' you gon you gon' simp, and it's like that's not cool. I'ma look at you in a different light. Like, bro, why are you acting out in front of these folks when I know how you act? For real? Exactly. Mm. That's my thing. Mm. Mm. That boy preaching today, boy. Man, I'm, I'm saying, like, light though. Like, I'm for real. No real talk. It's just like, like it basically just come back to you being you. You shouldn't have to act like a different person to come out of character. Trying to um please a girl or just be funny or impressionable. You should just be how, how you act on a day to day basis, like true, straight up stuff. And they should, if they don't mess with you, then they not for you. So mm-hmm. I, it, and I ain't nothing wrong with that, but like you should just see, like, hey, I shouldn't have to do all this just to talk, just to get your attention. Yeah, yeah man, yeah. You gonna fuck with me? Not.
Hey, that was a hey, that was a good topic. Hey, I ain't gonna lie, y'all. I don't, I, I don't think we're gonna have a, a mystery topic like this thing already. I want three minutes, okay. and we still got two more topics. So I'm a, I'm gonna just pick up with the mystery topic next week, y'all. But the next topic I got for y'all is one that I ain't gonna lie. I got this because I got this from, from listening to the radio at work. They was talking about it at work, and I didn't hear anybody responses. I just heard the question. So, uh, yeah, the next topic is if you had a time machine. Mm-hmm. Would you go backwards? Would you go back in time, or would you go forward? Okay, okay, okay. You want to go the, first with this one? Yeah, I, but I need the rules first. What can I do, or what can I do? So, okay, I actually got two questions. So, if I go back in time, can I talk to my past self, or would it be the knowledge I have right now in my past body? That's the first question. The second question is... Oh, that would... Hey, that do Basically, that. like, back to the future. Basically. Okay, okay. Great. So wait, because they can talk to themselves on Back to the Future. Yeah, it could. Yeah, okay. They can they can see themselves on Back to the Future and talk to them. It would cause problems. But wait, I don't think they ever did it, but they could. I do it. Saying, they could do that like, because he's saying he said, but, 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 but he seen Doc get shot though. He and did, Doc was with him Doc on some parts. He was with him on some parts. I guess. Okay. Okay. I'll go first. Um, I would like to go. Mm, I think go in the future. I feel like I feel like I feel like if I go in the future though, I'm gonna mess something really up because I'm gonna get an almanac and I'm gonna I'm gonna, I'm gonna go so, stupid, boy. So you are gonna do what Biff did? On yeah, that. I'm gonna do what Biff did. I'm gonna be the black Biff boy. Stop playing with your boy. You gonna be rigging stuff, bro? Rigging, but I'm gonna be. Biff. You right? You can buy man. You can buy man. Who won the NBA finals in 2025? Put right, two thousand on the net right now. <laughs> <laughs> and it's crazy. All right, what you gonna do, Andrew, bro? I want I, 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 I to go last on this. one. I ain't gonna count. I had to take three right off. That's how I squeeze my head. It be, it be, it be give your head headaches. Yo, we count. It's real talk. And then, it's some of the things still sticking up in the back. I know we're doing a podcast. Yeah, go go ahead. Anyway, man. my thing is, I think I'll probably go back in the past. Because there's some stuff that I know now that if I told myself back. You want to go back and change shit? Yeah, real Okay, talk. okay. There's a problem with that, though. And I'm going to tell you your problem? problem. The problem comes. With yes, you're gonna fix some problems, but you're gonna create new problems. Because how you exactly know you're gonna create new problems? Because I'm gonna, gonna tell you why. Problem. Because but if it's not how you know you're not gonna fix them? How you know? How you know the stuff that's so harmful? Hold though? up, listen. Okay, let's okay. Let's say you fix problem A. You like okay, problem A fixed. But since you fix problem A, there's a new problem B because you fix like problem A. Every action got a reaction anyway, so I'm just gonna. You just gotta live with it. That I'm about to say, you know, I'm saying, like, I feel like. So what I, you gonna go back and do though? If I were to choose to go back, he talk, I'm, I'm talking. Oh, about he talking about because you say you gonna Man, fail. I'm going I don't forward. know. I ain't gonna lie. You gotta have a reason to be going say, back. Yeah, I I ain't gonna lie. I'm not gonna act like I'm not. Excuse me. I'm not gonna act like I'm Mahomes, Ray Lewis, or any of them boys. But I ain't gonna lie. I probably would go back to um. And play football. Play football, but go play for Mount Sailors. Because it was the simple fact of it was free education. And, and like, I think they get a lot of more scholarship opportunities over there. And then, then with So, you would have a better college? Better. Them, I, I don't know. But it's like, with them smaller classes they had, it would probably be more opportunity for me to just, just be more involved in school. And so, I probably would have. I mean, I feel like he could have been a big shot at school. I ain't going to say a big <laughs> shot. I mean, I mean, he could have been a jock. Jo- jo- he could have been a jock. Jo- <laughs> I ain't going to say all that, but it's just the same time. I mean, I did miss playing football, and then it's like, damn, the minute I stopped playing, they went and won a ring cam in them. And it's like, damn, I could have at least had a ring. You got niggas that's in our grade that be flexing that thing like they was just – in the chip, but on the <laughs> sidelines, but we ain't gonna speak on that. We ain't gonna speak on it, and so we. So it's like I feel like man, that this that little stuff they were doing over there in my says I feel like I could have dominated them for real. Now I ain't gonna say I would did if I was still staying in clean, but over there in my says I probably could have did with some song. So I probably would did that and just. Uh, I don't know. I don't know if I should mess with that other stuff that I'm thinking about. I feel like I don't know how that would go for real. If I knew, I it's know only that, one thing I'm gonna go back and do. I know, I know what it is, but I don't know if I should mess with it because I don't know how that's gonna. Work. I mean, my you talking about some relationship stuff, right? No, it's it's not even relationship stuff. It's okay. like it's my parents, but it's like I don't know if I should touch that because it's like 
Well, I don't know. My relationship with my mama ain't just the best right now anyway. So, I don't know if I touched it and just them told my dad back then. Be like, hey, I ain't gonna lie to you. She, she cheating on you. And then be like. I mean, hey. I don't know if it's necessarily. That is a perk. I don't know if it's that. Like, you saying it's gonna have a reaction. But, I mean, I ain't just necessarily on the best terms with her right now anyway. So, I feel it like. It probably would have still ended up like this, though. I'm saying. That it just would have took so, a different turn. Yeah, like, it probably would we never know, so it's just like, hey, and but that's probably, I probably would just tell myself to eat a little bit healthier too, though, because I am kind of fat, so I probably would just want to eat a little bit healthier. No, no, I don't regret you. I don't regret you. I don't regret you eating nothing, nothing, hey, bro. I ain't gonna kill. But, but you, that's what you got back, and probably. And just the last thing, probably just work on my spending habits a little bit. Just a little nah, bit. Nah, you can't fix that. Anyway, uh, <laughs> that man can't fix that, Jake. I mean, hey, and you born with that. I was just saying, you born with with money. Anyway. I mean, you live, but you can fix it a little bit. You can't just. Anyway. Oh, but God, like a big shot. All right. Hey. Now, that's him. All right, so. I'm, I'm, a, I'm not even going to get into that. Alright, right, so this is gonna bleed a little bit into the uh into the WandaVision conversation. But like I, like I said, back with the fools, I'm gonna go ahead and answer mine. I will obviously go back and I will obviously uh Dang, we about to get real deep up in here, bro. Okay. I will go back and I would try to do something to where my pops wouldn't have died. Because I remember what I was doing that day, and that was not a good situation at all. Oh, yeah. I know what you're talking about. You remember what I was doing that day, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh, no, I know what he was doing for real. Like, yeah. Okay. I feel like that's so, why he won't do it no more. That's, 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 that's literally the only reason why I won't. That's what I'm saying. All right. So, uh, yeah, yeah. Okay. We're going to get a little deep for a second. Ain't nothing wrong with that. But, all right. So, yeah. I would definitely go back and... Try to do something to prevent my pops from uh, it, it it would be everything with my pops because now that he's gone, I low key resent not calling him as much, and I resent not spending more time with him. Even though I did spend time, it, it was at one point I spent like every weekend with him, but I still don't I still don't don't feel like that was enough. Uh, my my, my mom and my dad been separated ever since um I was I was a baby and stuff like that, so that don't really matter, but. Yeah, I would do something to to prevent that. I don't know what I would do. I would probably tell him, you know, I want to do something with him that day, and he wouldn't go do whatever he was doing. But, uh, and I got high for the first time that day, which kind of, I don't know. I, I, I don't know what ha- I don't know what happened with that, but some something in my head now, makes I, me not. My thing with it, I was just going to tell you, I wouldn't. I know what you're thinking about. I feel like you was thinking, like, okay, you got her. Once you paint down, you know, you find out your pops passed or whatever. You kind of hold it on yourself that, like, a while, since I got her, my pops got shot. I'm not, I'm not even saying that. I'm just saying, like, if I, I don't know. I don't know. I went. That's a hard thing to do. It's not even, it's not even saying just you got to get high again, but it's just like. I wouldn't just hold me getting high is the reason. Yeah, my pops. Got you should. Feels. You shouldn't. You shouldn't blame you. Shouldn't feel you like shouldn't your blame your dad died just because you got cause, high. Yeah. It's like, it's or you like, didn't. Or you didn't prevent him. Yeah. I. I'm, all I can say on that is really just you know, you know, you just never know when you're gonna go. Not saying it should have happened like that. Nobody deserves to just you know get like murdered or nothing like that. But it's just like in a sense of just like you know certain stuff happen. That's just out of your control anyway. Yeah. It's like, if it didn't happen then, it could have happened some other time. But, like, at the same time, you can Like, I know a lot done changed since, you know, he done paid. Like, maybe you be thinking to yourself, now nah, you can correct me if I'm wrong. Maybe I feel think, like he could have seen me do all this shit. Maybe he could have seen you do all this. Maybe it's like, you know, like, if he didn't die, maybe... You would be closer to your other brother, you know, because he then he got the move. I would definitely be closer, be, be so, closer to my other brother. So it's like, it's like, you can't, in a way, you gotta, 
let that kind of stuff go. Like the, just like the guilt you might feel, a certain situations and stuff. You can't just just keep holding on to that because it's like if you keep holding on to it in a way, it's just gonna keep getting at you and eating at you. Like yeah. you could be at your highest peak of success in anything you do, but it's like you always gonna have that weighing on the back of your mind. In a way, you just gotta let it go and just keep grinding and keep hustling. And just, you know, just show your pops from up there. It's like, you know, you still don't. Even though it probably, even though it would most definitely be better if he was still here to see you do all this stuff. He, In a way, he still is seeing you do it. It's just yeah. not the tradition. So, to piggyback on what Andrew said, I feel like, yeah, you shouldn't you shouldn't blame yourself. I'm not, I'm not going to just say, man, it's God play. It was going to happen. But, it like, we shouldn't blame people. We shouldn't blame ourselves for people dying. Because, like, your dad... It's not. It's not your fault. You could. You couldn't have pre- prevented it if you wouldn't have got. I got high. You couldn't have prevented it. Now I, I. I know how you feel. Like man, if I got high, I did something for him. Yeah, but you were just living life. It was just a normal day. And yeah, I was about to say it, really it was a school go. day too. And it was. It was like the a day or two before prom. Like I don't know day, if it was yeah. the day before prom. I or think night. It, what it. What it ultimately come down to is like everybody had their their moment in their life with it. Well, I don't, I ain't, I can't speak for y'all, but it's like I had that moment in my life where it's like you either gonna you, build from it. Or? No, it's not even building from. It. It's like you feel like you're invincible almost, like nothing bad, like anything that happened down the road. You, anything around you, it's like something bad can happen to you, but it can't happen to you. But when it actually happened to you, then you be. It's like you look at life in a different. Yeah, you look at life in a different way. Like. Before my parents, like my, like I was sitting on this couch, and my mama was sitting on this couch right here. Mm-hmm. It's just a normal day. It's like a day in December. We, um, I'm, I gotta go to a fun time to go work that day, and it's like um, they call us in there, call me and Ashton in there, tell me they want to talk. Now that ain't never happened before, but I'm not thinking. You know what I'm gonna hear is what I'm gonna hear. So they talking about you know they finna separate, divorce, this and all that. And so I'm like, what? Like in my head, I'm just taken back by it. And I ain't know how to react in the moment. So I'm cool all the way up until I get up to work. And then I just see these families leaving. That stuff just hit you. And so I, I don't know. I just broke down. And my manager had to pick me up. And I'm just like, she like, what's wrong? And I told her what was going on. And it was just like... You know, you don't feel you don't feel that same invincibility as you once felt. Like you yeah. don't feel like the world. You know how some people be like they feel like the world can be like a big TV show to them, and it's like especially when you little, you feel like ain't nothing happening. It just it just come little. crashing down to you like this, like damn, certain stuff can happen and stuff. Cause it's like it just it's just different. It make you move different after. Listen, I'm gonna say I'm gonna say this, and if we can, we move on to the next subject. We can. Uh, wait, well, they both said like the traumatic, the traumatic events that happen. Like, that's why people should appreciate life as it is. Um, exactly. I try to live, I try to live and plan the future, but you really don't know what the future holds. And I feel like people should just take, take life one day at a time, live the most in one day. Cause like one day, it could all be over. It could be like your parents could like just. Just pass away, and that's really one of the most things I think about. Like I, like I used to be never want to come home and stuff, but then I just like I saw saw what happened to people like Cameron and Drew. I'm like, life can happen fast. I would never think any stuff that happened to them would happen to him so quick. And because they're we are we also young. We only 21. Like real talk, and I just I just thank for what I got here. And you should be you should be thankful what you got. Like real talk. Appreciate your parents. If you, like, I don't know how many young people listen. Appreciate everybody. I appreciate everybody. But like, like I know you. You might like, man. Why my parents bother me? Really appreciate them because they be they could be gone an instant, and all you have is memories. Yeah, you know, it's just like, mm-hmm. it's just yeah. You gotta cherish everything. Just like even when Andre was telling us last week, I ain't just gonna speak on all that on here, but you know, just what he was telling us and what he had to do, mm-hmm. I couldn't just imagine myself just going to do none of that stuff. So I know it was it was hard, especially since he, you know, was there every day and stuff yeah. like that. And then just for it to happen like that, I couldn't just be like just see myself. I I don't know. 
Yeah, we probably gonna move on from that. But yeah, what's the next one? All right, last topic, y'all. This has been a great pod so far. Dang, this is the longest pod, too. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, uh, anyway, y'all. All right, so last thing. We watched WandaVision this week. Some of us watched it be- before other ones. Uh, and some of us were hating from the get-go. But All right, so here's the thing. I did not think WandaVision was going to be good. I'm going to just say it. I did, I did not think WandaVision was going to be good. But honestly, like, WandaVision like one of the best things I've seen from Marvel in a long time. Like, they really made... Bro, like, this, th- this probably the most... This is probably the most human that they didn't ever had any any of these characters be on Marvel. Like the stuff, um, the, the stuff that happened on the show, the, the stuff Wanda went through, just made her so relatable, especially to me because of the stuff I just got done talking about. She got people in her and her life and in, in her life and in, in her space that she didn't lost. She felt like she didn't basically lost everybody to the point to where she got to fabricate some kind of world to to herself. To where everybody's still alive and everybody everybody's still doing happy stuff and everything. So I just feel like first of all, that was the most human that anybody ever been on Marvel, except for except for when Tony uh was on. Uh, Tony. Was that Infinity War? Or, 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 oh, he sacrificed himself. That was Endgame. No, no, no. I'm talking about uh, I'm talking about when when he went he went back in time and, and tried to save his dad. Remember? Oh yeah, he did. That's he about, that was. That was either Infinity War or, was, or Endgame. That was Infinity War. Because you remember they were going back in time. Weren't they trying to find one of the crystals back in time? No. That was, they that was, was no, Endgame. That was Endgame. No traveling. They said they were trying to find one of the crystals, but but Tony was really trying to go back to, you know, try to do stuff with his dad. The rest uh-huh. of the Avengers were trying to do stuff for the crystal, though. Uh-huh. Yeah. But yeah, the, yeah, it, it was great, y'all. I ain't, I, 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 I'm, I'm going to leave it to, to them to talk about it, but... WandaVision was great. I want, uh, uh, br- 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 I want to see them do more stuff like that. I, I know they're doing what uh, Falcon and Falcon the, and the Winter, Winter Soldier. Soldier. Yeah, Falcon and the Winter Soldier. I'm gonna definitely be watching that. I don't know if it's gonna be as good as this, but I think it's gonna be. That's gonna be more action based. Yeah, this was more. WandaVision was great. Yeah. WandaVision was more of a. It was a coping mechanism, but in a way, I don't know. I got like a, like a. I kept telling Garfield, I don't know if he just felt, it felt like a Twilight Zone episode almost, because like Wanda had, you know, she was making it seem like a, like them first couple episodes all the way up in But the every end. episode was modeled yeah. after another show, saying, which was really good too. Yeah, I'm saying, like all the episodes up until, I want to say up to, what was it, like eight or nine, it was like a... It was like a Twilight Zone type thing, cause like it was like she was cause stuff would keep happening and it would stop. Yeah, and then, it it would seem like a happy thing on the surface, but you could really tell it was just gonna be crazy just off that first episode. It's like everything normal, everything and then it black gets to the white. part. It gets to the part where uh, Wanda, Vision, and then the other folks they sitting out. He's sitting out with his boss having dinner. And then the man just started yeah, the man choking. choking yeah. And then like it's just the way the lady out there seventy show she was just like stop stop and all this. It's like, and then, like it just he keep was on really building up. Experiencing real pain, but he couldn't really die from it because he was choking for a long time. It's like you think bro would have died, but it was like as you keep watching, you find out that he probably was never gonna actually die from it. But if she was in a way letting that man struggle. Because yeah. he was like, what's wrong with you? I think she took but offense see, to that. In but way. see, knowing that now, knowing what was going on now, that's yeah. why that's why Wanda ain't never do nothing because she knew he couldn't die. Yeah. Yeah. That's why she said Vision helped him. And yeah. he just, and she ain't really care like that. I didn't know that at first. It's but. crazy, though, because it's, it's like you said. It's like she lost Vision. She, she lost, lost her whole family. They showed her parents dying in that blast. Mm-hmm. And then, you know, her brother died and what? What was it? Uh... Age of Ultron. Yeah, Age of Ultron. He died. And then, so, it's like, yeah, Wanda done lost a lot of folks. And she done had, she she basically re- reached a breaking point where she was like, in that little, like you said, in that little world where nobody could touch her, nobody could hurt her type stuff. But, toward, like, at, toward the end of the show, she realized it was wrong at the same time, just forcing those she folks, manipulating taking them, them folks away from their normal lives, no matter how bad it was, they may have thought it was before, they knew they didn't want to be in a situation like this, so it's like, it's, but, but then she had to learn a lesson for herself, like, you know, it's hard to just, you know, basically it's hard to say goodbye, 
But at the same time, you got to be able to be strong and move on from it, no matter how tough the situation is. And so, it's like, um, it's a good show for sure. And it's just, I don't know. I forgot I to put like, the spoiler thing before this, yeah, but we spoiling it. It's, I, it's like a lot of the stuff, it's like, um, I feel like a lot of the show is just going to, a lot of these shows that Marvel putting out, they really, I, I they just gonna tie up loose ends. And yeah, stuff. I was gonna say I, I can't wait to the next season, but I feel like a lot of them just gonna be. Like, yeah, I don't think they gonna they be like gonna no be like show one show. off like little short yeah. series. Like sh- it really just building characters because like like Garfi said, like I was, they should keep doing this for real though. Because like Garfi said, I didn't know this, but at first like like in the actual movies, I was like I thought they always knew she was the Scarlet Witch or whatever. But he was like, nah, they, they just, you know, she was Wanda, but she didn't know she, she was like the actual Scarlet Witch type. So, yeah, I didn't really have a problem with the show. It was a real good show. The only thing I'll say is how they did old boy that was in the Sony, like, the, not the Sony, the Fox. Oh, X-Men. X-Men. Like, that they, was kind of weird. Like they like no like he he like he wasn't a bad Quicksilver in them movies. Oh no no no, no he wasn't and bad. So I'm just saying it's kind of weird how they portray him like he was just like an afterthought kind of yeah, almost yeah, like he was, wasn't just like I don't even remember. They the probably other, couldn't think of no of no other way to do my, it. Though. My thing was just like the other dude they had. It wasn't like he just had a memorable impact as Quicksilver. Like he died, but it wasn't like I just remember a lot about him either. So yeah, the Quicksilver from X Men was way better in the first place. Yeah, like. He was he had he had layers to him. I mean the other one did too, but I, I like the other one better. I guess I guess but it's really because they gave him more uh, He more comedic effect on uh, X Men though. Yeah, and then they gave they gave him more layers. They didn't really other dude didn't really get a chance and he died in Age of Ultron. That was like the first time they showed him. He so. barely even spoke on that movie for real. Uh, he was like rushing and shit. Alright. Alright, what you got though, Godfrey? This is the last thing. Last thing we're gonna we gonna make a quick so close uh, out the pod. So WandaVision Great, phenomenal show. Now I'm gonna tell you, I'm, I'm gonna snitch on Ken. He, bro, I was like, bro, y'all need to watch around the Y'all need to watch around the He was the first one to say. He, he was the first one that started watching it, and he was the first one to tell us to watch it. I'm gonna be honest, yeah, he did say that. And everybody was like, man, Edward watched that late wall division. I, he said, what's it about? I'm like, bro, you just gotta watch it. It's, it's about. But he was watching like the first two episodes, where like we didn't. I thought the whole show was gonna be in black I and white at first. I'm sleep, glad that I waited because one that like you had to watch it on week to week. Yeah, I had to. Oh yeah, I'm so I, I'm so I'm so glad I. I watched all I nine think, episodes I at think, once. I think, I think if I had a deal like I that. I would have been mad. Why would you be mad? It I, makes it better. I would have been mad. I ain't going to say I would have been mad. I, I like mean, binging stuff, though. I just know how I be with shows like with Power. Mm-hmm. It's like I wait every week. And so I had sleep just fell off the bandwagon for Power. Like, I still ain't continue watching like the mid-season finale thing. Oh, man. And so it's like, I know a bunch of, like, I really done got spoiled on like something that happened in the end because it was like, they be showing like different trailers like on Instagram and stuff. Cool. Yeah, so it's like I've seen this. I think. Well, do you know? You you been watching? Man. Oh, we ain't gotta talk about power. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Did you watch power? No, I didn't, didn't watch power. Bro, bro, get done talking about what you talking okay, about. Okay, okay. This stuff about to be out in thirty okay. minutes. Go it, ahead, but, man. Uh, we we gonna, we gonna finish out in thirty minutes. One of it's great show, great everything. I love how they uh they uh they put everything in it. They also yeah. put little hidden clues. Monica, she is trying to get into her comic book counterpart. I think her name Who's is she? like her name is like Starlet or it's not Starlet. Oh my gosh, what is her name? It's something with Star, and she has powers like Captain Marvel. She is like one of the one one of the strongest people in the Marvel Cinematic she Universe. African American Captain Marvel. Though. See, yeah, yeah, she she the black she really Captain Marvel. Boy. For them black queens yeah, 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 yeah. Diversity. Yeah, I like I like that white vision though, because like you know how that vision in one of the universe he had implanted out of memory. Yeah, I'm yeah. Not sure what's gonna happen with that. Yeah, so the, the vision, like, all this stuff is coming together. So, I don't know if you know. I don't want to spoil anything for y'all. So, there's a movie called... There's, there's a movie called Doctor Strange and the multi, the Multiverse of Madness. It has a deal with Wanda. So, Doctor Strange... I'm not, I'm not going to go crazy because we're almost done. But Doctor Strange, he's supposed to be the Sorcerer Supreme. And in the show, you can hear Agatha say... um Wanda, you're stronger than the Source of Supreme. And the Source of Supreme, he's supposed to be like at the top of magic in all the all, so, all the realms, all the world, because he's that good. And Doctor Strange's very he's very smart. He knows all the like little stuff. He even talked to us Thor and stuff. He was like, Hey, get your brother out of here because I know what he can do. So So is there like is, okay, I, one more question. I did one more question. Okay, so so I in the Doctor Strange, like the next Doctor Strange movie, mm-hmm. is 
is he gonna go against the Scarlet Witch or something? Is that what you're telling me? I wouldn't say that. I feel like his part would be to help uh, Wanda control her powers, even though Agnes says it's uncontrollable. Um, so, there, there's a villain. There's a villain that gave Wanda her powers. I forgot his name, but he, he's like he's he is the master of chaos, and he is very dangerous. So he's probably so. gonna use her as like a weapon type stuff until Doctor Strange try to convince her that she can control what she do. Right? Yeah, but yeah, Wanda is very very powerful. Like in the comic books, I'm gonna, be, I'm gonna end it, bro. I'm gonna end it. So in the comic books, she she what you did, what you saw on the show, she did it to the entire world. And some like the mutants made her mad. Uh, what's the what's the name, Professor X? He made her mad, and Did she was like, her? "Nah." He was like, "Wanda, stop all this." She was like, "You know what? Forget you." And she took away all the mutants' powers. Uh, so, man. it's got something to look for. Cause that made me think of Jean Grey, the same as uh, man. Jean Grey got the same powers as her and everything. We, we gonna anyway, talk about that tomorrow. anyway, y'all, 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 y'all. This, this I be t- this probably gonna be a bitch to edit. How? You know what? Complaining is too short. Now he talking about it's gonna be too long. But it's good enough for this. Uh, hour is a sweet spot. This is hour and thirty minutes. But dude, but we talked about we talked about a lot of good topics, and you ain't even gotta edit nothing. Yeah, I do. I gotta put pictures and titles on everything. But you know what, y'all? That's in the actual video though. That's skin. Come on. I'm gonna start to edit this. You know what? They don't they don't understand, but it's whatever. I understand. This this. I, I ain't gonna count. One more thing. The next time we just need to we need to do that little pictures on it. That was hard. That's yeah. what I'm saying. But no, not the. I'm talking about like video though. I ain't talking about like put the pictures up though. What the? Like the. Um, I'm gonna see y'all. Clothes. I'm gonna see y'all in the next pod. Hey, we love y'all. Be, be safe. We love y'all. Oski. This one of the best pods ever. I ain't gonna lie to y'all. So far, we gonna keep them going for y'all. Uh, we here every week. You feel me? Yeah, man. Peace, y'all. I love yeah, y'all. Uh, hit the like button, Peace man. Sus- subscribe to the so channel. Old. We still ain't hit 5K yet, but we we, we only three months in. So, yeah. <laughs> Trying to hit 5K before 2021, y'all. Y'all go ahead and hit that like button. Subscribe. I love y'all again. Subscribe. <laughs> I said I love y'all like five times. I know. Peace, y'all.